No Now Channel presents Clocks. The word clock is from the Celtic words clagan and clocka, meaning bell. History. A sundial shows the time by displaying the position of a shadow on a flat surface. The earliest sundials known from the archaeological finds are the shadow clocks. 1500 BC in ancient Babylon astronomy. Water clocks, also known as clepsydra, along with the sundials, are possibly the oldest time measuring instruments. The bell-shaped outflow is the simplest form of a water clock and is known to have existed in Babylon and in Egypt around the 16th century BC. Other regions of the world, including India and China, also have early evidence of water clocks. Some others, however, write about water clocks appearing as early as 4000 BC in these regions of the world. But perhaps it's unknownable. The Greek and Roman civilizations are credited for initially advancing water clock designed to include complex jeering, which improved accuracy. Independently, the Chinese developed their own advanced water clocks in 725 AD, it was a water-powered cogwheel clock. Astronomical clocks Besides the Chinese astronomical clock of Susong in 1088, in Europe there were the clocks constructed by Richard of Wallingford in St. Albans by 1336 and by Giovanni de Dondi in Padua from 1346 to 1364. They no longer exist but detailed descriptions of their design and construction survive. Spring clocks Building smaller clocks was a technical challenge as was improving accuracy and the reliability. The earliest existing spring driving clock is the chamber clock given to Philip the Good, Duke of Burgundy, around 1430. Spring power presented clockmakers with a new problem. How to keep the clock movement running at a constant rate as the spring ran down. This resulted in the invention of the Stagfried and the Fusee in the 15th century. Early clock dials did not indicate minutes and seconds. A clock with a dial indicating minutes was illustrated in a 1475 manuscript by Paulus Almanus. Pendulum clocks. The next development in accuracy occurred after 1656 with the invention of the pendulum clock. Galileo had the idea to use a swinging bob to regulate the motion of a time-telling device earlier in the 17th century. Christian Huygens, however, is usually credited as the inventor. The first model clock was built in 1657 in The Hague, but it was in England that the idea was taken up. Here is spring. In 1675, Huygens and Robert Hooke invented the spiral balance or the hairspring, designed to control the oscillating speed of the balance wheel. The repeating clock that chimes the number of hours or even minutes was invented by either Quar or Barlow in 1676. George Graham invented the deadbeat escapement for clocks in 1720. Some of the wristwatches still use the deadbeat escapement. Electric clocks. In 1815, Francis Ronalds published the first electric clock powered by dry piled batteries that could continuously provide an electric current to circuit with the invention of Volt by Alessandro Volta in 1800. But Alexander Bain, Scottish clockmaker, patented the electric clock in 1840. Quartz clocks. In 1927, the first quartz clock was built by Waring and Horton at Bell Telephone Laboratories in Canada. The National Bureau of Standards, now NIST, based the time standard of United States on quartz clocks from late 1929 until the 1960s, when it changed to atomic clocks. In 1969, Seiko produced the world's first quartz wristwatch, the Astron, atomic clocks. Atomic clocks are the most accurate clocks in existence. The first accurate atomic clock, a cesium standard based on a certain transition of the cesium-133 atom, was built by Louis Essen in 1955 at the National Physical Laboratory in the UK. Optical atomic clocks. They are also called optical lattice clocks. 
The device works by measuring the vibrational frequency of ethereum ions as they oscillate back and forth hundreds of trillions times per second between two different energy levels. These ions are trapped within an optical lattice of laser beams that allows scientists to count the number of ethereum ticks per second to measure time so accurately. It can only be one second inaccurate in 300 million years. The move from microwaves as the atomic escapement for clocks to light in the optical range earned John and Theodore the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2005.